And, and, and do, do you get a lot out of being able to think and talk and hear about stories? Because there's much more behind the painting than there are certain the eyes. <laughs> I think the more that we can get children, particularly from those schools that don't traditionally go and visit the museums and galleries, to start to do so, I think it has a very, very enriching and inspiring effect on the, on the youngsters. And speaking to the young boys that I just met from one school uh, about one portrait, you could really see that it's inspired them. It's made them think about the kind of world in which they live, and it's made them think about the subject of the portrait. And that, I think, has a very very important effect on the, the wider education of every single child. I think sometimes there's, a, there's a, perhaps a, a false perception, but it's nonetheless a perception widely held, that galleries and museums like this are only full of you know, Victorian men with whiskers and, and stiff collars. Um, in fact, the portraits in a place like this have men and women of different faiths, of different places, different communities, and different parts of history. So you'll always find somebody in, in, a, in a gallery like this, who you can identify with. And I think to say to young uh, Muslim boys and girls, uh, or indeed anyone of any faith, of any community, black, minority, ethnic um, communities up and down the country, look, come to a gallery like this, you will find someone, you will find a portrait who speaks to you directly, even across the, across the centuries. I think that's an important message, and I would certainly encourage more and more uh, young people to come and visit a gallery like this.